Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you my tips on how to pack that work bag, or basically really just to take you through my work bag to show you how I have it organized because it works so well uh, for me. Um, also, you know, one of my most popular videos here on YouTube is how to pack a backpack. And so I thought it'd be nice to come back and share kind of currently my work bag, because this is the back work bag, the Austin Fowler bag that I'm currently, you, currently using as my work bag. And so I hope these tips will be helpful to you. So let's get started. Okay, friends, first I want to start by saying if you haven't gotten my last book, Beautifully Organized at Work, definitely check it out, grab it. I'll put it in the description box below because in this book, I do share my tips on organizing your work bag along with tons of other tips on creating a beautiful work life. So definitely check it out, Beautifully Organized at Work, and it's sold in all bookstores that books are sold, and then I'll definitely put my Amazon link below because it's also sold on Amazon. So the first tip that I wanna share is when it comes to a backpack style work bag, you definitely want to find something that is durable. So two things that um, is important for me is one, that it's durable, and two, that it's the size to fit um, whatever digital products such as laptop, iPad that you're going to take. Because of course, backpacks come in a variety of sizes. You may remember my other Austin Fowler backpack, which I do, I do have another Austin Fowler backpack because these backpacks, their bags in general, work bags in general, are the only ones that I use. Um, now, when, ever since I got hooked on them, um, they just make you feel so sophisticated, um, whether you're just going to work or school, but they can just do it all. They also make great diaper bags. So um, if you're that mom and you still wanna um, have your swag, but you wanna be able to keep the baby bottles and all of that in there, I will definitely put my discount code for Austin Fowler down below. You will not be disappointed. But this right here is um, a smaller version of their large your backpack and I really love it because again everything should fit your current lifestyle and for me right now I this is perfect this is the perfect size it's easy to, to just kind of throw on my back it has nice padded um, straps here which are nice I absolutely love the gold hardware you guys know how I am about my black and gold when it comes to uh, my business accessories and so it just really fits so I love that about it now one thing that I did add into my Austin Fowler bag which um, is huge is a handbag organizer. And I got that off Amazon. I did some research on it for both my handbag and my work bag. And so I found one that I'm going to link in the description box below because um, your girl Nikki has done the research for you and this is really a nice one. And so I basically wanna just kind of pull everything out and kind of share with you what I keep in my work bag. And then I can share with you basically my tips on you know how to organize it or um, why I put things where I put it. So again, you remember the two tips, making sure the size is right um, for you know you got to make sure you have the right size especially for your your tech gear so you guys know my plan or you know I am a I'm, I'm not a hundred percent over to the digital side so I still keep my traditional planner it is it, it is my personal assistant it gets me through and so it is always you're always if there's anything you're gonna find with me um, that is going to be that the other thing that I have in my work bag is my iPad and I have a laptop also so, but I find that when I'm working on the go or I need to take, I love taking my iPad. And Mike recently, he got me the um, iPad, the Apple, um, I think it's called the Magic Keyboard, if I'm not mistaken, but it works so great um, because it makes me feel as comfortable as if I'm on my laptop. I have all the same efficiencies that I need when working. Um, so it really works out great, but I love that it's so thin that I can just kind of keep it in my work bag and it really, really just works for me. A lot of times, um, you know, guys, you guys know with my lifestyle, a lot of times I'm having to go here and go there. And so it's great to be able to just grab my work bag and go. Um, a lot of times now, living where we live, I like to go downstairs and work in the conference room to change up my work environment sometimes and just to kind of get some of the sunlight in from downstairs and it's just really a, a nice aesthetic to work in. And so just being able to grab my work bag and grab this really just helps. The other thing that I have in here is my tech bag and it looks a bit of in a shambles because I, all the stuff in it I have not organized. I've been just kind of just chucking it in there. Recently just came off of a trip and so it's just, it's been, um, um, 
just a little craziness there, so I'm gonna go in and organize that. But the key is, even though this is disorganized, it's organized because it's not um, a bunch of cords and things in my bag just creating chaos. It's a tech bag that I have so that all my chargers and cords are all in here and corralled together. So even if they're a disaster in the bag, they're not creating a disaster inside of my backpack. So for those things that you carry with you, have different compartments for them so that you really can easily get to them um, and they stay semi-organized, even if they're not organized within their case. Now, Austin Fowler has this um, these little zip bags, which are great, and I love them. I, when I'm packing um, and going on trips, you guys have seen these, I use them. They come in three different sizes, a set of three with three different sizes, and this is the smaller of the three, and it's perfect for all of those like tech accessories that you need to take. So the next thing that you definitely want to think about having in your work bag is a Zoom kit. You know, now ever since COVID, we're all about the Zoom call. Most meetings are on Zoom. I mean, does anyone meet face to face anymore? But um, it's important to have a little Zoom kit now. That's something that I think is, is new that you need in your work bag. And what a Zoom kit is, it's just a simple little zip bag that you can keep a little mirror in, you can keep your lipstick in, a little comb if you want, whatever you need to just make sure you look right before you jump on camera with uh, the team. Um, and it's just um, something that's simple. Now I do combine mines and I also have kind of little, um, I keep a little wipe in here. I also keep a little cloth to wipe off my camera. So if you're on your laptop or on the iPad or whatever, you can just wipe it real quick. It's nice to have it in your Zoom kit because when you have your Zoom meeting, you wanna pull out this one, you don't have to go searching in your tech bag for it. You wanna just have one because it's for the purposes of getting on camera. Um, also. I keep um, my little sanitizers in here too. So it's a Zoom slash kind of sanitizing COVID bag so that I don't have to have too many multiple bags. I'm trying to minimize the amount of bags that I have um, in my backpack because again, this is the smaller version of the backpack. So it's, in, and I want it to be more compact. So the next thing I have in my backpack is I have my pin case. And you guys remember this pin case? I got it, I've had it for several years. I got it off Etsy. I'm always getting asked about it. So I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. But I love it because it's clear. I can always see my pins aesthetically pleasing. And you can see it is jam packed because I keep my pins in here, my highlighters in here. Um, uh, sometimes I even have a Sharpie in here. Why? I don't know, but I don't have one in here now. So I might've gotten some sense about myself to take it out while I carry it around. Um, but you can put your dry erase markers in there if you go to a meeting and you're going to be on a whiteboard or anything like that. So having one place for all your pins are gr is great because when you go into a meeting, you can pull the one pin case out and have all of your essentials right there. The other thing that I keep in my work bag is I keep my little stand because a lot of times when I'm working downstairs or if I'm out and about, um, this is my baby. And I have this in black and white. I got it off Amazon several years ago. Again, it'll be in the description box. But it's, it's, it's just a little stand that I can put my phone on, turn it different ways so that when I'm having that call, I can have them on my phone. It can be sitting on the table. It has the little legs that spread out here. And it's great. It's just a great little tool, um, especially for me, a lot of times if I'm going live or I'm doing my Amazon live, you, this is what I tend to use. Um, it gets pretty tall, so you can take it um, uh, at a pretty good height. So even if you need to take a picture of yourself or anything like that, you can sit it on a table or sit it on a chair, or whatever, and it can be up to your height. So it's just really a little handy tool to take. It also does have a built-in remote with it, so that if you want to, say you're taking a, um, I guess, I guess this could be kind of like a considered somewhat of a selfie stick, but um, I think only my parents use a selfie stick. Do you guys, I don't know if I remember I shared with you that uh, my parents, when they you they have a selfie stick and I, it's the worst thing that they could have ever got because every time they take a picture, they're holding the selfie stick, but you see the selfie stick in the picture. They don't know how to take the picture <laughs> without the selfie stick. So it's like, Come on guys, okay. So, but it has right here a built-in um, remote that pops out and then that way you can just kind of slickly take your pictures if you need to do it. Um, but again, that's something that's definitely handy in my work bag. I also, and I need to take that out. And I also, because I have my Apple, my Apple pen, I do just stick that in a pocket in here because it makes it easy. It is magnetic and it does attach to my um, Apple um, to my iPad, but I find that when I'm putting it in and out the bag, it'll pop off. So I like just keeping that separate on the side so that I don't lose it and then it has its place. Of course, um, my 
my spectacles are in here. Can't do anything without these babies, so I keep those in there. Sometimes I'll have multiple ones in there because I don't know, I'm that girl. I just, I'm always, I have readers all over the place. One thing that I love is my water bottle. I talked about this recently in another video, um, in another video, but this is from um, just a planner company actually, and it's just really, really good. Notique, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's such a beautiful luxury planner company. They have beautiful, beautiful handbags and organizers. And so they have these water bottles that come in actually two sizes. You can get a larger one or a smaller one, but I find that this is the perfect size for me on the go. Like if I'm going downstairs in the conference room, fill this with water and I'm, I'm really good to go. And I love that my organizer that I'm getting ready to show you has a pocket just for this. So it's really just a very efficient way for a backpack, um, especially a smaller mini, mini backpack such as this. And then um, I think that is it that I have in here. So I'm gonna take the organizer out so that I can show it to you. So all of the things that, well not all of the things cause like I had the planner to the side, but all of the essentials that I had in here were tucked in these compartments. And so this is really just a great tool to have in your backpack. Again, it will structure your backpack. It'll keep it organized. And again, if you need to pull things out, you pull the whole thing out and put it in another bag, a handbag. Um, and then too, if you're that girl that um, you interchange between using your purse and a backpack as your work bag, um, you can easily just pull this out and put it in whichever you're using at the time. And so I also have one in the current purse that um, I'm carrying. So I could always just take that out and put it in, in here too, but no, I can't because the size is different. Um, this one is smaller than the one in my handbag. They do come in different sizes. So you wanna make sure when you're ordering um, the insert to get the one that fits your bag. Um, what I do love about these is they just have a better quality feel because they are just kind of like a, a felt kind of material, but they really feel strong and feel good. But when you're organizing your backpack, as you can see with the Austin Fowler bag, one of my favorite things is they always put that pop of teal in the inside. And I love that pop of color because when you look at the bag, it's just a simple chic black backpack. So great for women. But when you have them inside, it has that pop of teal, which I absolutely love. And I love it because it's a boost of, um, motivation. Uh, when you see that color to me, that is a color that inspires you. It's just that nice, beautiful pop of blue, that wake up color. You will even notice in all of my books, I do the same thing. If you open any of the books that I have written, they all have that pop of teal on the inside um, because I wanted you to have that punch of inspiration um, whenever you um, open the book initially. So of course, with the Austin Fowler backpack, it does come with pockets on the side. You have a pocket for holding um, additional things like you can pop um, your phone in there if you want to put an extra section for that. If you wanna use this as your purse and your work bag, you can put your wallet in some of the extra pockets. So there is a really, you know, a lot of different compartments there. And then for me, when I have my organizer in there, I try to keep all of my core items um, in there so that I can easily just kind of look down and pull. And then the great thing about it is they are velcroed in so if I want to take like that zipper center bag out I can definitely do that so let me show you how my bag looks on the inside so that you can see that it really is where I can look down into this bag I can easily pull out whatever I need and I can see my total inventory and so that's the key with a backpack because again a backpack is an open bag and if you just start chucking things in it's going to waste your time because you're having to dig and try to find things. So friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing inside my work bag, the one that I'm currently carrying from Austin Fowler, their mini backpack. And I'll definitely put my discount code, like I said, below if you're interested in it. They do come in different colors. I'm not sponsored or anything, but I, you guys know it's no secret that I'm obsessed with their bags, but um, I will definitely put my um, I'm an ambassador for them, so I'll put my discount code down there for you. But I hope that the tips I shared with you will help you whether you're going to work or school um, with how to organize your backpack um, because having your bag efficiently organized is really going to save you time, save you money, and especially save you from being stressed. So friends, I hope that you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.